Factorising quadratic expressions. In these particular examples, it is important to notice a little trick. Each of them contains an x squared and a number with a negative sign between. x squared, a number, a negative sign in between. x squared, a number, and a negative sign in between. This method is better known as the difference of two squares. The name tells you exactly what you see. It is the difference, the subtraction, of two squared concepts. This is actually x squared, and this is actually 4 squared. By writing this down, I've actually done the first step in factorising this expression. Once you have established what the two things are that are squared in the question, you can then simply write down your answer. In each bracket, at the start, you write down what is written in your first bracket. So here, I'm going to write an x down and an x down. The second half of both brackets is filled by the number that is present in the second squared part, the 4. And all you need to do now is place a plus inside one of the brackets and a minus in the other. This is the factorised answer for x squared minus 16. Let's have a look at the second example now. In a similar way to the first one, I'm going to write this as a squared number. This is actually 2x all squared. 2 times 2 is 4, x times x is x squared. Subtracting, 81 is actually 9 squared. So now, once again, we can write down our two brackets. At the front of each bracket is what is in the first bracket here. So a 2x and a 2x again goes at the front of both brackets. And at the back of each bracket is a number here, a 9 and a 9. And just like before, put a plus in one bracket and a minus in the other. It doesn't matter which order you place the plus and minus in. And this is the answer, 4x squared minus 81, when you want to factorise it. Let's have a look at the final example, which is slightly different. Here the number is written first, and then the x squared is written after. 36 is the same as 6 all squared. Take away 49x squared is the same as 7x all squared because 7 times 7 gives you 9, 49, x times x gives you x squared. And once again, we can write out the two brackets and fill them in. And it's important here not to just follow a pattern that you've seen before, with the x going first and the number second. Here, you can see that the number is first and the x part is second. So once again, at the start of both the brackets, this part will go first. So it's a 6 at the front of this one, and a 6 in front of that one. The 7x then goes at the back of both of the brackets. 7x and 7x. And once again, you need to put a plus in one, doesn't matter which, and a minus in the other, it doesn't matter which. 36 minus 49x squared is the same as 6 plus 7x multiplied by 6 minus 7x.